guys hope you're all doing well. So I'm coming to you um, with a look very quick and easy. So when you want a little bit of something on your face, I'm usually a full glam or nothing girl with makeup. But like sometimes there are sometimes oh my ear itches. There are sometimes where it's like just a little something, a little a little something. So I'm gonna show you how quick that can be. I'm also not wearing my contacts today. I'm gonna wear my glasses with this look. So, um, yeah, when I wear my, like, again, this is a casual situation. So the eyes aren't gonna be too glam. Um, and I can't see. So I'm gonna show you what I do. And we're gonna start with the brows. And for, for this type of look, um, I'm just gonna, you know, fill them in and I don't necessarily need to carve them out. I'll be honest, the routine that I don't kind of like, what's, what I'm looking for, like even if I'm going super casual, just want something on the face, um, I will still like do my full brow routine, carving them out and everything like that. And looking at the situation today, I don't know if I'm gonna do that. But usually like even with casual makeup, especially when I wear my glasses and like I like my brows, you know, to frame my face. If I'm making any sense, I will, um, I will still carve them out. This is the NYX Stick It Stick It. I've been enjoying starting with that. I have, I have so many, um, different ways-ish to do my brows now, and I kind of like them all. I'm going to fill in with the NYX Fill and Fluff in Brunette. It's a thicker pencil, but I'm going to go ahead and pretty much give my eyebrows their shape with this and I'm gonna talk you guys through it but I also want it to be real time as to how fast I throw this face together so try my best to yeah we don't have to carve them out today we just we just make it look like I got some eyebrow that's all. I am getting ready-ish, well, like I said, getting ready to go to a friend's house that lives literally like five minutes away and we're playing games, game day. I'm filming this on New Year's Day, November, November, January 1st, 2023. It's a Sunday and we're off Monday and we're like, let's do game day today. Perfect day. Um, so happy new year. I, you know, woke up feeling like it's, you know, just another day. Like, it's not like you wake up and have some magical new motivations. I don't think so. It's, it's more of a mental situation. This is NYX Control Freak. I'm just throw a little bit on. Brows are done. Um, but I, I woke up with like, I don't know, it's a new year. It's exciting. Want to start those habits. Do I said I don't have any new resolutions per se, but I have goals. Um, I have goals that uh, I would like to meet. Okay, so since this is real time, my nose is a little bit dry around my nose, so I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna take a. Uh, let me just get a cotton pad with some toner. This is not scientific here. I'm gonna just scrape a little bit. My nose has some dry flakes. I'm going to wipe that since we're here. But no, <clears throat> excuse me. I don't have any resolutions. Like, I'm going to quit smoking. I'm going to do this. I don't, I don't smoke. But um, it's got some dry skin around my nose ring. And I am using a cotton pad with some toner on it. And my nail, because they are, you know, a tool at this point. So just get that dry skin off from around my nose. I'm wearing a powder foundation today. So, yeah. I don't want to um, accentuate that anymore. But some goals, you know, financial goals to save. I did decide something new. I, I don't really track my finances. I'll be completely transparent. I pay all my bills, put money in savings, and then I buy what I want. Um, and, so, and so, like, I want to just see how much I'm spending. And I know it's going to be eye-opening. I know I'm fortunate enough to be in a to be in a financial state where it's like, I don't have to pinch every single penny all the time. But I, I, I wanna see, I wanna see and, and adjust and make good habits. I don't necessarily have some major, you know, goal 
that I'm trying to reach by doing this, but just to be more aware. Um, my weight loss journey, I kind of like, I didn't slack back, I plateaued. Like, I didn't gain. Um, I'm still at probably about the same, same where I am probably last year. Uh, not 2022, 2021. Um, I want to say fluctuating probably about 20 pounds, 20, 25 pounds from my lowest to the highest I've been since I lost all of that weight. So not too bad, but um, want to get back on that weight loss journey. All right, so I'm going to prime. I know I'm talking. I, I'm talking, and I wanted this to be quick. Don't want to try a new primer. Um, I have a new primer. I don't, uh, I don't think I do because not yet. I'm going to go with my Maybelline Baby Skin. This is from my shop, my stash drawer. You guys should see that video. Oh, yeah, it feels good. Oh, my God, it feels so good. Those velvety, you know, clear silicone primers hit the market. I think Smashbox is one of the first ones. Um, but, oh yeah, we like it. We like it. I remember the e.l.f. one, the e.l.f. primer in the white pump. I think they still make it, actually. Um, that stuff felt so good. I would just put some out and just rub it in just because of how good it felt. Oh, oh, lovely. All right. Um, I... I think I'm going to do my face first because my eyes are just going to be almost nothing. Um, so for my face, I'm going to use the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour, this hybrid powder foundation. Um, because again, this look, I just want to throw something on. And I'm going to use some concealer. I'm not going to use no color corrector because it ain't that serious. Um, I'm going to use some concealer. And let me get a brush. So we don't want it like a super big deal um and the concealer I'm going to use I'm squinting because I do not have my glasses on <laughs> alright from my shop my sash I'm going to go into my NYX bear with me serum concealer I'm going to use the shade that's my skin tone uh what is this camel and I'm going to use Barely a pump. Like, I'm not even going to use a lot. Because this foundation, this Maybelline, it's going, it's going to do some things. So I'm going to get a brush. And I'm going to put a little bit on my darker areas. Around my mouth. And it's a little red around my nose. So I'm going to go, because I was scraping. I am not trying to look, again, full glam. I'm just trying to look a little bit more put together. Let's take a little bit of that. The dark area here. Okay. And then, I want a little bit more. But, looking good, looking good. I need new pack of makeup wipes. I'm going to open these. I just got these on clearance at TJ Maxx for $3. These are some Precision Beauty makeup removing cleansing gloss. I use all brands of makeup wipes. And they're cheap. It's even better. Alright, let me pull. Alrighty. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the lighter shade, this is, um, sand. I'm going to take sand, and I'm going to put that to brighten up, to brighten my under eye, because, yep, that's what I want to do. Blend that out. I think I'm gonna. Oh, hold on one sec. This brush isn't all oh, that. Let me go back to the other brush. Put all that. <clears throat> and 
And I definitely can see a difference when I don't use color corrector. This concealer isn't bad at all. Um, but I definitely can... Okay, I'm coming. I can definitely see a difference um, with it with with it versus without the color corrector. So we have that on. And then I'm going to set the under eye with a separate powder. Because, yeah, I'm going to use a little bit of my Fenty Honey. My Fenty Pro Filter Powder in Honey. Blow that brush off. Just set that. My food. Okay. And now let's go ahead and put on some powder foundation. Uh, this, again, the Maybelline Superstay Hybrid powder foundation. I'm going to buff it into the skin a little bit. So I'm going to get, let's see, picking out a brush, picking out a brush. Let's see. All right, we'll go with this one. It doesn't really matter. This is a city color brush, fluffy brush. And if I want a super maximum coverage with this, I would really buff it in. I'm going to lightly buff it. So I didn't pick my densest brush. So I'm going to Really buff. Not really buff, but I don't know what I'm cool. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's so pretty. This is I've been liking this. Maybelline is always it just feels like it's always giving a little orange. But you know what? Whatever. Okay, and because this is a look that's not not doing too much, I don't really want to contour. I don't really want to, um, cause this 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 powder is giving a little bit of bronzier tone, cause it's Maybelline. I don't want to contour, but I do want to wear blush, cause I have to wear blush. I want a glowy blush. See if I have in my shop my stash situation. A non-matte blush. My face is pretty matte right now because of the uh, this powder, which I ain't mad at. So I'm going to go into my Juvia's Place um, blush palette. This is the volume two, and I'm going to go in the shade Sola. That one right in the middle, it's a, it's a nice, um, it's a nice satiny. That's pretty. You know what would be really good with this look today? A uh, e.l.f. Uh, luminous Putty Blush, but I ain't getting up to get one. <laughs> and I think this shade, let me see, this shade's Zoba. That's like a pretty highlight right here, right there. I'm going to take my finger and put that where my highlight is. Look at that, look at that. It is a powder, not a cream, but... Take my finger and do that. Look at that. Look, that's pretty. Just a, we just a, throwing it together. Put some on the nose. Boom. And I'll be honest with you. Face is done. The face is done. Let me just check it with my glasses on. Yeah, just a look. We not doing a lot. I feel like I look a little orange with this Maybelline, but. I'm here. I don't, eh, actually looking out, I'm looking at my viewfinder and the viewfinder kind of does distort me a little, but looking in real life, no, I just look bronzed and tan. I don't look orange, so pretty, still pretty. All right, and then for the eyes, because I do like a sweep of something, I'm going to go ahead and find a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. Um, I'm going to go ahead and find a ColourPop Super Shock and Ultra Glitter or something. Alright, here's a pretty one. Right on top. Right on top. I don't need primer or anything for these. This is a Super Shock Shadow Ultra Glitter. This is the shade Shook Up. Uh, I'm gonna take this. That's pretty. Take my finger. Put it on the lid. Okay, that's all I need. And then... I'm going to, you could do like, 
sometimes because I'm wearing my glasses, like I do my eyes up a little bit more, probably do like a, a colorful wing with like one of my cake liners or something like that. But again, not, not into it for all that. I just wanted to put something, a little bit of something on. But I'm gonna take a brush and just blend this off into nothingness almost on the lid. So there's just something there, just like that. Just like that. I know y'all like, what Candace doing? A light situation. It's just that also I'll do these light situations again, a game day going over, but I want to have something in my face or like, again, running errands for the day, want to have a little something on, but I just don't film them because it's kind of boring. It's not my full glam. It's not that exciting, but that's the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek. Super Shock Cheek, Super Shock Shadow. And this face is getting together. And I am going to do, gotta do mascara. Gotta do mascara. Gonna do fake lashes too. Not doing fake lashes with this look, but gotta do mascara. Where is my eyelash curler? Cause I can't see. All right. So I'm gonna curl my lashes. And I've really been enjoying, hold on, I'm pinching myself. There we go. I've really been enjoying um, this mascara combo I'm about to show you. I'm coming, babe. Oh, you're bringing me my food. You didn't have to bring it up here. <laughs> so yeah, I'm almost, thank you. Appreciate you. Hi. Hi. Y'all, everybody here today. Everybody here. Okay. So, the Maybelline Lash Sensational Sky High Tinted Primer. I'm going to put that on my lashes first. And you could just wear this as is, as a soft, natural mascara. But I'm going to tell you something. It is more than natural for me. I could just do this, but I'm gonna let this sit for a, a minute, about a minute. I'm gonna put it on the bottom too, because why not? All right, let that sit for about a moment. I said a minute, but I don't know. Maybe probably, probably significantly less than that. Um, and we're gonna apply the Lash Sensational Sky High mascara, the actual mascara. But if you look, like this is my lashes are mascaraed up and and they're fine. Um, but this will add a little bit more. Mm-hmm. See? Oh, yep. So that's a little bit more. And I like it. I think it looks pretty. I think it really looks pretty. Bam. And for lips, with the look like this, we're gonna throw on some lip gloss. But before that, let me just spray. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm gonna go ahead with my, where's my glow? Y'all, Griff don't, Griff don't care. He just, he don't care. I'm gonna use my Shake Fix Glow from Catrice. I really like this spray. I'm gonna give a little bit of something. a little bit of something and then for lip gloss we're gonna do a clear gloss and we're gonna put on our Fenty this is the Fenty ice balm gloss balm and ice it's just a cooling clear gloss no oh, and I lather it on because I don't know how to add so and there we go 
we put together not too much I gotta put some earrings on peep the ear situation friends I refreshed my ear jewelry for 2023 um you guys know all these earrings I never changed them I I sleep in them whatever and so I finally invested in some gold uh oh I had gold like I had like a mixture and I wanted some new gold and um yeah we are I love the dangles ones I still wear earrings in my main hole I gotta put some earrings on but like I'm loving loving the ears so we just have a ponytail today to show the ears and we're good to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about any of the products mentioned in this video, feel free to leave it down below. Love you all so much. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.